I'm Bronco, and this is the Card of the Day calendar for Monday, August 22nd. Today is National Be an Angel Day. I guess you have your choice. You can be Mike Trout, or you can go the Vladimir Guerrero route, or be Jeff Weaver. I don't care. Up to you. Anyway, all the scores and highlights can be found on the right side of your screen with a halo over the winning scores. There's really not a halo there. Let's move on to history. And on this date in 1971, the Oakland Athletics start the game with a bang and end it with a bolt of lightning. Bert Campanaris leads things off for the home team against Boston with a home run. Then, a guy by the name of Reggie Jackson, who would later play for the Angels, provides the walk-off winner with a solo homer as the A's defeat the Red Sox 2-1. Also on this day in 1984, Dwight Gooden strikes out Gary Templeton in the eighth inning during a game at Jack Murphy Stadium to notch his 200th strikeout of the season. The good doctor became the third teenage pitcher to accomplish that feat, joining Bob Beller and Gary Nolan in an exclusive club. The New York Mets win the game 5-2 over San Diego, and Gooden becomes just the 11th rookie to top 200 Ks. Birthdays on this day, Carl Yastrzemski turns 83, the original Yaz is a Hall of Famer, 18-time All-Star, 7-time Gold Glove winner, and he claimed three batting titles during a 23-year 23 23-year 23 career spent entirely with the Red Sox starting in 1961 and lasting until 1983. He amassed 3,400 hits, 452 homers, a batting average of 285, and he drove in 1,844 runs. He's also the Sox all-time leader in total bases with 5,539. Paul Molitor turns 66 today. The Igniter is a seven-time All-Star who is in the Hall of Fame, and he also won Manager of the Year honors after his playing days. In 21 seasons, he tallied 3,319 hits, including 605 doubles and 234 homers, and he stole 412 bases while batting a cool 306 for the Brewers, Blue Jays, still hurts to say that, and Twins. Randy Wolf turns 46 today. The left-hander won 133 games and posted a career war of 22.8 in 16 seasons spent with eight clubs. Some of his best work came with Philadelphia, including 2003 when he made his only All-Star appearance, when he went 16-10 and 10 with an ERA of 4.23. August is 1989 Donruss Month, and today we're going to circle back to the Brewers and feature Jim Gantner. Since it was Molly's birthday and everybody already knows about Robin Yount, let's discuss the third member of Milwaukee's trio that played together for well over a decade. Affectionately known as Gumby, the feisty infielder batted 274 and was known as a steady defender despite never winning a gold glove. Never much of a power hitter, the beloved Wisconsin native probably had his best offensive season in 1983 when he batted 282, cracked 23 doubles, and had career bests with 8 triples, 11 homers, and 74 runs batted in. His number 17 is unofficially retired by the club, only worn by Gumby when he takes the field to coach players and work with the infielders on a semi-regular basis. This has been the Card of the Day calendar. I'm Bronco. Sports out.